She's easily one of the most famous faces of para sport in Nigeria. Loretta Odier announced herself on the global stage when she won the gold medal in the short put T40 event at the Doha 2015 IPC World Championships. It was Nigeria's only medal at the event. A year later, she struck gold in the same event at the Rio 2016 Paralympic Games with a world record. Something I've never maybe had before happened that day by me breaking record twice. My first throw broke it. The fourth throw now broke the one that I broke. I set there. So it was a thing of, you know, wow, see, I'm the one. So it's like, yes, my dream has come true. For me to be a Paralympic a champion and a world record holder. <laughs> At the Tokyo 2020 Paralympics, Onye still made it to the podium, winning the bronze medal also in the short put T40. She's a clear evidence of the growth of para sport in a country where football is the most popular sport. The number of persons living with disability taking to para sports in Nigeria is growing. Nigerian para athletes do well at continental and international competitions, but Paralympian Ahmed Kolosho says much work is still needed to accelerate the current growth in the sport. There's um, progress, but the progress has been relatively slow and it can be a lot better. And uh, I would also say that um, not the number of people taken into sport as persons with disabilities is not as much as I would expect, and that is due to the level of publicity special sport has had in the country so far. Despite their success so far, Nigerian para-athletes say one of the biggest challenges confronting their sport is funding, which stands in their way to achieving bigger victories. Onye, for instance, is dreaming of making it to her third Paralympic Games in Paris in 2024. But she says the lack of funding is impeding her from taking part in continental and international events to test herself against the best. I will stay at in my Nigeria. I will be training from January to December, no competition. I have nobody to compete with. You know, I say, attending competition help athletes to improve. Oh, you know your line. If somebody will come and ask me, Larissa, what are you training at? I will tell the person, I don't know. Because nothing, I'm not measuring anything. We hardly have private sectors coming into the world of um, special sports in the country to invest in us. But I think if they really do, it's, it's, it's an investment they would never regret. So we don't have private sectors coming in. We don't have enough um, publicity and coverage from media houses regarding special sports. If um, uh, someone like uh, Ushuala does something, it is all over this, this, the TV. If um, Amazon does something, it's all over the, the TVs. But we have so many world records that have been broken, and we've been doing this for over a decade now, but you have very little or no coverage of those things being done. Despite the inherent challenges, most of the country's para-athletes like Onye remain undaunted. She's focused on not just making it to the next Paralympics, which may be her last, but says she is determined to make it to the podium once again and go out on a high. DG Badimosi, CGTN, Lagos, Nigeria.